The image is that users of the country's largest and busiest airport woke up to Wednesday morning. A fire incident that brought the critical facility to its knees, leaving in its wake destruction that is yet to be quantified. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport's International Arrivals Unit was extensively destroyed and so was the immigration section, adversely affecting air transport operations in the country and beyond. JKIA is the seventh largest airport in Africa and busiest in the East African region, and the effects of the early morning incident were evident for all. Firefighters had to make trips on end to fetch water as efforts were focused on preventing the flames from spreading to the International Departures Unit that is adjacent to the affected International Arrivals Terminal. The magnitude of the fire incident, prompting President Uhuru Kenyatta to make an emergency tour of the country's largest airport, accompanied by Cabinet Secretaries Michael Kamau and Joseph Olelenku, and top security chiefs. And at the same time, take this opportunity to assure all that we are working with speed to ensure that services are resumed as soon as as possible. The intensity of the inferno and the magnitude of the evacuation exercise drawing out the military men from their barracks to combine forces with the other emergency response units to deal with the situation. So I cannot give you an indication on when the airport will be open because there has to be a complete uh, assessment. The cause of the fire is not known. So, as I said, we are investigating. Security remains beefed up at the airport, with the law enforcers taking their positions on the ground and in the air, as operations at the domestic departures and arrivals, as well as the cargo units, slowly resumed. It, it should be comforting to Kenyans and uh, uh, our visitors that uh, all our security machinery is taking good care of them and that uh, uh, their safety uh, is assured. No fatalities were reported during the early morning fire incident. However, the national airline Kenya Airways confirmed that a member of staff and a passenger had suffered from slight smoke inhalation and rushed to hospital for further investigation. With Jomo Kenyatta International Airport declared unsuitable for aviation services, flights that were scheduled to land in Nairobi were rerouted to the Moe International Airport Mombasa and the Eldoret International Airport. You know, uh, what can you do about it? It's an act of God. So we have to move on and accept. Kama kawaida inchi hii yetu mekumbwa na kitu ambayo kinaitua kukosa kuwa tayari kwa masiba ama unaitua nani? Lack of disaster preparedness. At least 1,800 passengers were aboard the five international flights that were routed to Mombasa and thousands of other passengers who had scheduled flights to Nairobi were forced to seek alternative means to the country's capital. I think I'll travel the bus today. No, no planes are landing in Nairobi. Why can you may cancel my whatever? It remains unclear when the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport will be reopened formally and normal operations resume. A special committee chaired by Cabinet Secretary in charge of Transport and Infrastructure Engineer Michael Kamau has been set up to coordinate activities leading to the resumption of services at the region's largest airport. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.